Now is the time of the year when we need to start preparing our house plants that have spent the summer on the patio to bring them indoors for the winter. Yes, it's still warm outside, but we can start taking steps now to ease that transition from outside to inside. One of the first things that we can do is take a good hard look at our plants and scout for any harmful insects. Spider mites, white fly, and aphids like to hang out on the back side of the leaves, so start flipping those leaves over and see if you notice any of them. If you do, take that hose and just wash them off. Some of our more challenging insects, such as mealybugs, soft-shelled scale, and the adult whitefly, might benefit from uh, one or two applications of insecticide or soap. But a word of caution about insecticide or soap, some plants might be sensitive to it, so check that label before you apply it. Then we need to start acclimating our plants to some lower light situations. What you can do is take them out of the patio and put them underneath the canopy of the tree where they're going to receive maybe half day sunlight. Leave them there for about 14 days and then just gradually move them into some darker shade. This is going to make that transition from outside to inside easier for those plants. The next thing that we want to do is start checking up, monitoring the weather. House plants are tropical in origin, so they might be damaged once we start getting below 50, but that's not the case for all of our plants. Some plants, such, such as the fiddle leaf fig and the peace lily, can go down to 45 degrees. Other plants, like the Boston fern, can take 40. No fork allen pine, hibiscus, and croton can go down to 35 degrees, and kentia palm and the chiffalera can take 32 degrees without damage. Then when we start bringing those plants in, we need to take into consideration the light value that they're going to need. They're going to need to be placed in pl um, windows that will um, support them. Some plants, like the Chiffalera, are going to do best in the southwest facing window. Other plants, like the spider plant, will take the southeast or even east facing window. And Boston ferns are going to do very well in areas like the northeast or in spaces that don't receive necessarily direct sunlight, but some good bright light. We also want to make sure that we have any accessories on hand, such, such as plant caddies, drip trays, so that way we don't damage any of our flooring, and grow lights for any of those plants that need good bright light. So if we start taking steps now, we can take that transition from outside to inside and make it a little bit easier for our plants, and they're going to be much happier. <music> 